sorry. Shen. Like, Shen. Shen. like the, the practice wine. Open the light, Shen, karun okay. sa guwa. Okay, so Open mo next light. slide we have. Uh, hello, Sir Moreno. Can you please unmute your microphone? Thank you. Okay, okay. So, okay, we are now in the read, read, read. Okay, this is also very important because sometimes some people or most of the people tend to have or to be accustomed to what we call word calling or just you are just reading something, it's like blah, 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 and blah, 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 but you are not comprehending that. So, reading should be partnered with comprehension. That is very important. So, scheme and scan to form a general picture of a, of a text quickly. The first factor we have, make sure you know exactly what's required for each task. Again, Make sure you know exactly what's required for each task. Be coherent, be directed. You should always set a direction. Where are you going to? Where are you going to something? Or what kind of learning that you want to target or a specialized area of learning in IELTS? This wine, the next factor, basic but very important check all instructions carefully do not damage your your training do not go beyond into something which is not expected by your trainer or something that can contribute a gray area in your learning next we have used the work for further clause about the content and organization of the text. Yes, this is very important. The organization of the text. The part of the text, what did it requires for you to learn something? And what is the momentous tune of learning that you need to adapt in order to come up with the essential matters concerning the content and the organization of the text. Remember the key vocabulary may be explained for you in the text, yes. That's why we have like the vocabulary check. Those hard learned or hardly learned vocabulary should always be put into good reinforcement, especially to the trainer. Always see to it that you can have a good explanation on the key vocabulary because you will be the one who will unlock those to those students who cannot identify such word or such part of the vocabulary. Next we have, don't use a dictionary until you've done the test and check your answers. You can read an English newspaper every morning and listen to the news. As the people say, take a risk. Yes, it is not a humiliation to take a failure, especially in learning IELTS. So just leave it there. Always have a focus on what you are doing. Don't use yet a dictionary. So challenge yourself. Maybe I am correct with this. I am correct with those words. So after that, you will now found, find out on what areas that you need to improve. Okay, you can read an English newspaper every morning and listen to the news in English. Like we have BBC, we have Al Jazeera, we have CNN, CNN Philippines for the Philippines and the CNN in the USA. Rappler also, they are fond of using English as a mode of delivering news to the people. Next slide, please. 
Okay. This wine. This is quite hectic. And this is quite difficult for everyone, especially me as an IELTS instructor. There are a lot of part in writing, especially it also navigates in the field of literature. You know, from the from the great authors, you know the key, it's writing who made them popular with their styles, with their own versions. Okay, here, practice time writing to improve your speed. Very important as well. So we have like never write answers below the minimum length. Yeah, just like is her custom in some high school or secondary students here in the Philippines, or maybe in, in some areas abroad, like the teacher wanted to have like, okay, what is your reaction to these certain topics? And then the student will only put answer like, okay, so, and it like, oh my God, it's a nuclear bomb for the teacher. It's an insult somehow. So as, you are to take IELTS as a trainer or a student, always put a lot of bumps. What I mean is try, try injecting words that can catch your reader or the one who will view your writing piece, okay? Okay, remember that task two is longer and has more marks, so leave enough time for it. Task one, describe the information, not the diagram itself. For example, or EG, so I know that some of you know, just an additional information, we like um, provoke like, okay, it's exam exempli gratia, okay. So you don't need to say exactly what's shown on the vertical and horizontal axis of a graph. Yes, this is very important. Describe the information, not the diagram. You will not say there like, oh, the arrow will go in that direction and then will go up and again will go down. So you, you, you need to explain that. What kind of diagram, for example, it's about the processing of a canned good based on the diagram. So I remember one time when we have, or when we had that comprehensive exam in IELTS in our school. So we are only given a very short time to explain what is on the diagram. So we tend to explain more what is the substance of the diagram rather than its physical lines. So select the important features and ch choose figures to support. To practice, look for diagram and charts in the newspapers or on the internet and analyze them. Notice how diagrams are used. Next slide, please. Okay, then task two, analyze the question carefully. Make a paragraph, paragraph plan before you write. It consists of like, how are you going to intensify your introduction? What are the features that you need to put in order for your first paragraph or first line to have a flavor? Then check that all parts of the questions are addressed. Okay, then always leave time to edit your writing. That is very important. Then know your common mistakes and check for them. As you go along with your practice, you know, constant practice makes perfect, as they say. So always check, be a keen writer on pointing out those gray areas for you because some or somehow as you go along the way you will discover it with yourselves that you are already learning the right thing next slide please 